Hey folks, welcome to the newest version of Mr. Sauce. I've got a really good friend of mine in town, Mr. Danny Reyes, who was here last night with the Zach Brown Band down at Chase Field. I've known Danny now for uh, 40 years. One of my teachers and a dear friend, and I'm making sauce. If there's no recipe for today, I'm just doing meatballs and sauces, which you've seen from other shows. And uh, Danny's had my meatballs, and he's actually had my mom's meatballs, which are from the master. So anyway, let's welcome Danny Reyes in here. Hey everyone, Danny. Hey, thank you for having me. Yeah, man, I, I, I come there. bearing gifts. Here. The well, there's always something in my pockets, whether it's sticks or alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to. This this is an incredible bottle of wine, Gargiulio wines. Uh, this is going to be for you guys. Okay. For us to drink tonight. Oh, so. thank you. Uh, we only got one though. That's. <laughs> Well, we'll be good, we'll be good. In this country, everything's about garlic. But in Italy, you can't even taste the garlic. Whole garlic or crushed? Yeah, whole, whole garlic. Whole so garlic. Nice close to garlic. Close garlic. In oil. the oil. Okay. You let it simmer. Obviously Italian olive oil, or does it matter? Yeah, well, we, all, we, we get imported olive oil. Okay, so where are you getting the, 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 the extra, you know, because obviously tomatoes are good, but they don't have enough taste. Where are you getting the, the taste from sausage meatballs so these are the bianco tomatoes this guy watch the next netflix, netflix special on his uh about his pizza for you chris bianco boom man amazing ready for a boom 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 let's go again <laughs> right onto the harvest from wherever part of the world it's in. Oh yeah. This on bread alone. <sighs> alone is a meal. So imagine a really Damn. good tomato. A really good tomato, that <laughs> olive oil, and a, and, a, and a fresh baguette in Montreal with the bakers, you know their name. Like yeah. my baker's name is Simone. <laughs> Life, a lot of times people always, they say, oh, don't sweat the small stuff. Let me tell you something. Life is made up of small, small stuff. stuff. And this small stuff makes the difference when you eat Absolutely. that sauce. Absolutely, I'm right here. It's that deserves a boom. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Boom. boom. Sharing, sharing drum stuff, drum percussion stuff. I, I couldn't be in a better place right now. It's like a kid in a candy store. And then tonight's sauce. Sauce. And Mr. Sauce hits tonight. <laughs> Why when when I do it this way it's nice and straight. Yeah. And I don't want to play like this all the time. No, no, I want to play in here. Yeah. I want to do this, but I want to do it fingers without doing push pull is what I'm right. saying. Right. I'll start okay. with your left hand. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, what is it? So it's left, right, left, left, right, right. Okay. It's a... Uh, Left, right, right, right. Left, right, left, left. So single paradiddle and then a diddle. So. Left. Yeah. Uh. Now nah, you're doing a short run. Oh, uh, that's true. That, that's because I revert to it when the I know. do all the time. <laughs> right, that's, that's um, the old gadwa. Ah. Uh. Mr. Gads. Really? 
do 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 That's funny. That's a, uh, I get it from Changuito. Oh, okay. That's what it would be like. You're right. Right, right, exactly. Right. So I'm trying to even it out. So the rhythm becomes 16th notes now. One and the two and the three. Three, four. Three, four. Paradiddle, paradiddle, diddle. Now two singles. Then. Can I have that? Can you write that? Oh, one? yeah. Or just absolutely. let me have oh, yeah. that. Flam chowder <laughs> with extra flams. That's funny. So here's the flam chowder. It's the flam tap, right? But here's the extra flams. That's great. Hey Dad, we're 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 just going over uh, some good left hand rudimental exercises. <laughs> you look good. You look good, Buffy. Well, yeah, you know. You know what's best? And he has got together with Steve lately. With Steve Gabb. Have yeah, no, you gotten Steve, together with I Steve? I saw Gabb? I saw Steve in September, and Steve's been in Europe with uh, James Taylor. So I talked to him on the phone. Uh, okay. And uh, he'll be home for Thanksgiving, so we hope to see him over Christmas. Hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. Nice to see you too. We're, getting, we're doing an episode of Mr. Sauce with Danny. We talked to your dad. I'm in Italian and he can cook. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, you guys enjoy it. You have to go online and get this. Look. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen those. This company, Bianco. He's from here. The Napoli is from here. Look at this sauce, look. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Yeah, send me the photo. All right, man. I will. <laughs> Good to see you, Wally. And you know what's the best you, part about you this? It, it makes you play faster. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. Take care. Okay. <laughs> Salute. 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 Family. Time to eat. Manja. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So good. <laughs> sat there, you started eating, and I saw you get <laughs> quiet. Then I hear this, hey, Don, man, these meatballs are happening. And my mother looks up and goes, what are they doing? <laughs> I, I, no, okay, I remember, I remember going down the dungeon. Yeah, there's our guitar, his, Reno. There's our guitar. Sparks, actually. And we would spend countless hours. Oh, oh my God, that's where I learned how to play congas. You guys beat me up, man. Tell, 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 tell me, 
The first time you met my dad over there and you brought him down to the dungeon. Oh my God. So they, they call their dad and they go, you got to meet this guy, Dom. So he comes up. I don't know anything about congas, anything. And well, Fredo comes up to meet me and he goes, okay, let me hear you play some time. Sway. <laughs> so I play, he goes, okay, okay. Let me hear you play brushes. Really? Okay. All right. What do you want to talk about? Yeah. And then he started playing these congas that I still have. And he put them next to the drum set and proceeded to play them at the same time. And that was the day I said, I have to learn how to play percussion. I would fly to Vegas and see you guys. You used yeah. to, at the, at the old house where your mom lived. And you would be out at the, by the pool. I remember one day I, I pulled up a wall, Fred, I'm like, where's daddy? Always out practicing his slaps. I said, where? He goes, on the cement. <laughs> That's right. You used to practice slaps on the cement. So the, I said, Danny, what are you doing? Yeah, it's a hard time, man. I started, it, it started wearing the, the skin so much that I would bleed all the time. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? But, that, but you were a kid, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was oh, trying to play on the cement. The conga head seems soft, right? That's probably why you got those slaps that sound like machine gun shots. So I was talking about, you know, my mom and the meatballs, right? So she always wanted to talk hip talk because she, you know, Bill and I were always going to gigs. So we'd be getting ready to go to a gig and my mom would go, where are you guys going? I'm going to work on Oh, have a good jig. <laughs> she about she yeah. said you gig. It's, it's like my mom. My mom, like she would pronounce things a little bit different. She yeah. was like, uh, like vegetables. <laughs> and one time I, I made the, the mistake of, mom, it's not vegetables, it's vegetables. Como? So Danny's dad, Walfredo, amazing percussionist, you know, mentor to me and to Danny and everybody else, comes to my mom, my mom's for sauce also, and of course he's smoozing with my mom, and she can't understand that his name's Walfredo. She thinks his name is Wilfredo. So after he leaves, she goes, that Wilfredo, he's a Latin lover. <laughs> Because <laughs> he'd ask my mom, marry me, Lena. I'll marry you for the meatballs. <laughs> when I talk about, you know, how things are taught phonetically in other countries, I talk about Alfredo, and you guys sometimes would call me up and go, hey, Don, I get a message. Hey, it's Danny. Uh, can you write that out? Thanks, man. Click it. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Because I've been many times that, like, oh, man, how do you write this? <laughs> Hold on, Dom. Yeah, you call me up. And I get these voice messages of crazy Cubans singing rhythms, and I got to write them down and then send them to Alfredo. This was before email. This was before all that. I actually have to write it down and mail it or see you. You know, you know what's amazing? Like, all these different rhythms that have come out of Cuba, like, uh, you know, especially the evolution of, you know, especially like theme by music, and right. like what we were hearing yeah. a little while ago, um, completely rhythmically evolve in and around the club at three over four. Oh, crazy. And there's just so much syncopation. And it's just flawless. It's beautiful language, but it reverts and it goes back to the rumba. And, and everything. And you right could, here. whether it's like, you know, a thousand years ago or a thousand years in the future, rumba will always be a rumba. It's, it's, it's like almost that. like fucking perfect. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's, it's a whole language. And once you learn that one pattern from that language, it opens up the gate to the rest. I remember the first lesson with your dad on the drum set. He showed me this groove. He said, just learn that, everything else will reveal itself. Mm -hmm. So for a year, I spent on one measure. And I realized, and you can, I mean, you can really hear it. You could hear it in your drum set playing. Yes. What's it doing? It's happening. Huh? What's it doing?
say thanks to Danny Reyes for coming in and doing Mr. Sauce episode, playing Give Me a Conga Lesson. Drummer, percussionist, per ex extraordinaire, unbelievable. I just wanted to say goodbye and thank Danny. Where'd he go? Yo. Hey, Danny, you sleeping? Thanks for doing Mr. Sauce, man. <laughs> Boom.